Blaze Bodies! What is going on, everyone? Back again. And 365 days progressively moved forward for another year. Yesterday was my birthday. You know, not that anyone cares, and believe me, I am okay that you don't care. But for me, the birthday is the, the most important day of the year. I, I can't call it a holiday, it's not a holiday, but <clears throat> you know, you have your important ones. To me, the important ones to me are of course Christmas and Easter because I, I am, you know, brought up Catholic. Although, you know, I, I go about it in my own way. I don't, you know, I don't talk about it. It's, it's something that's important to me, but I keep it to myself. Those obviously are the two most important holidays of the year. The only reason that I like Thanksgiving is because it g gives me really great memories of when we were, when we were little. Yes, I was little. And um, we, you know, we'd go to the grandparents' house and they would make a huge deal about it. The food, the little table where all the kids sat. I think I've talked about this before. It's an important day only through the great memories. But to me, the birthday is the most important day. It's the day you, I, all of us came into this earth, came into this world rather. A very crazy world at that. 54 years ago, you know, one would, would have thought it was crazy then. What would they say now? It's upside down now. But anyway, a lot's gone on in this last 365 days. And the la in the last 369, 12, my goodness, the last four or five months has been, uh, <laughs> it's been, it's been uh, crazy to say the least. So, as I said in my post uh, a couple of posts ago, that you know, I, I ventured out into my my typical annual birthday prep where I start January first and I write it down in the birthday and I try to bring myself in, you know, aesthetically. I can't go ahead and say physically because to take oneself down to ridiculously low levels of body fat is not healthy. It may look great, it may look amazing, but health-wise, it's not healthy. So I, I've been doing that to myself for th 30 years during all the times I was competing, whether I was, I, I've said all this stuff before, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. But the main, what I really wanted to touch on is that things change, like I said in the post, and I started out as usual and all was going great. And then uh, <laughs> the world turned sideways, upside down and up rolling around. And it's still, I think, getting worse and worse. So I had to make some changes. I had to make some modifications. And the end result as of yesterday, I was happy with, but I had to change my priorities. I started out with goals and priorities and systematically and strategically as I do every year and then given the current the current the current chaotic circus we experienced I had a I had my I had to I had to uh, take like I said make contingencies and all was well but again and the moral of my story there that I the post is that we all need a backup plan. We need backup plans when things go haywire, when things go wrong in your life, when, whether it be on a personal uh, standpoint or, or, or financial, a work, career type situation, when things go in a crazy way that you didn't expect or maybe you did expect and shit can get scary and you have to know what to do just in case you know just like to use an analogy having that fire alarm on the wall 
and the fire starts out burning down the facility and you gotta crack it and sound the alarm. You gotta call in for backup. You need backup. So that's something to seriously think about. Now, talk. speaking of me turning another another year, 54, I'm gonna, one more year, man. It's, that's a wake up call. That's <laughs> mid fifties. That's some scary shit. Uh, you know, I get the AARP cards in the mail that they keep wanting me to register. I just try to rip it up and throw it away. I don't, I don't want to accept my number that I'm looking at now. Cause I still feel in spirit, uh, like I'm 24 and I mean that. I feel like I can do anything I want I could do back then I'm certainly trying to keep my, my myself in that type of condition aesthetically as long as I can and for many reasons one it's a personal thing I, I feel that the more uh, organized I am and the more I keep myself in check the more I carry that over to my other aspects of life um, Primarily work uh, other aspects of my particular life definitely need a little bit more work But that's why I work so much, but uh, You know and also too, I you know if people are gonna come to me and invest their Invest their trust most of all and their hard-earned money. I want them to uh, know that I lead by example I want if I'm gonna if I'm going to be directing or guiding someone in a better direction, I need to preach those words myself. I need to live by those words. So that's, you know, that's why mostly I'm so uh, obsessive compulsive about trying to be in, in the best shape I can, you know. So half the year I typically and strategically, believe it or not, I have it in different phases. My off season is in like two different phases and my pre-contests pre 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 and my pre contests are on two or three phases I, pl I plan it all out so this year the uh it started off great and it just changed so that's that's really just the lesson for today i mean the moral of the t of the story is like have backup plans if shit goes sideways and also too as we get chronologically progressed I don't like that word age as we progress and the numbers go up you can't let it get to you and you gotta just in your mind look to the smaller numbers <laughs> just imagine yourself 20 years younger and if that was all it's a lot easier than said than done but you can definitely do it all right I gotta go I gotta get home and eat I get to eat more now so expect to see uh, my segments, my face getting fatter and fatter, and me being a lot more jolly <laughs> as we approach the first of the year. So the next, you know, six months, five months, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to break my record and try to hit some higher numbers this year by January 1st. So that's just more I gotta take off later, but that's okay. It'll, I'll push myself because of it. All right, I hope everyone had a great 4th of July. Independence Day, don't take your freedom for granted. People died for that and give them respect. Honor the flag, honor your military, honor the law and all authority. Give respect, get respect, all right? All right, I gotta go. I'll talk to you all very soon. Get to the gym. They're all open now. <laughs>